When a court orders you to put an ignition interlock device into one of your vehicles or all your vehicles, you only have 10 days from the date of sentencing to do it. So it's really not a great idea to wait until sentencing to try and figure out what your game plan is. If you're not going to be driving uh, and you're going to take vehicles out of your name, then start as soon as you know that you're going to take that plea and be sentenced, start getting stuff out of your name. Now, it's not as easy as just getting it out of your name. You need to have a paper trail because what happens is 10 days after sentencing, the monitoring authority for the ignition interlock device, which is the probation department, is going to run a check against your name to see what vehicles you have titled or registered to you. And if you have any vehicles titled or registered to you, it's going to become a problem. So when you go to take the vehicles out of your name, you're gonna get a bill of sale that's signed. You're gonna make a copy of it and hold on to it. You're also going to take the title and make a photocopy of the front and back after the vehicle has been signed over to whoever the new owner is. If you have the bill of sale and you have the title switched over and if you've taken the plates off, which you should have, those three documents in conjunction will get you out of trouble with any judge or the probation department. So make sure you do, the, do those things and don't get caught up. My name is Adam Militello. I'm a criminal defense and DWI lawyer with offices in Rochester and Geneseo. And if you have any questions, give me a call.